and a parent of a former Frewsburg student who is now seeking education elsewhere due to bullying is speaking out in hopes of preventing others from enduring the same treatment his son has. Our Alyssa Wright reports. He was coming here since about fifth grade. Uh, that year I started to see some issues where he was being bullied. He actually went to the principal at the, the smaller school where she completely dismissed it. Um, several teachers completely dismissed it and I sent a letter, an email to Mrs. O'Boyle. Since the bullying started roughly four years ago, Andrew Hughes removed his son from the Frewsburg Central School District. Despite reporting multiple incidents, Hughes says that he was ignored by school staff. He was medically removed because of the harassment that he has endured, including uh, a few death threats, um, an actual physical altercation, and then the last straw was he was hit in the face with a computer. After being allegedly assaulted, his son was not only denied proper treatment, but also left outside unattended, according to Hughes. When I showed up to the building, he was out front of the building by himself with no supervision at 12 years old after being hit in the head with a computer. So I drug him back into the, the school, sat down with the principal who the secretary immediately told me, well, he's already been signed out by the superintendent, he can leave. And I said, no, I need to talk to the principal. This isn't the, the current principal. So I sat down with her and I started asking, was, was concussion protocols followed? Why, was it, why did I find him outside with no supervision? And she just sat there and could not tell me anything. The school's superintendent, Shelly O'Boyle, acknowledged the father's concerns. You know <laughs> that I can't speak directly about students or personnel. Uh, issues that come forth at board meetings or public meetings or any other time, actually. The superintendent wants to assure parents that safety is the school's top priority. We're here to make sure that all students get a good education and they do so in a safe environment. Now, Hughes just wants to use his experiences to protect other children. Honestly, I'm looking out for everyone else's children. Um, close friends of mine have actually had to call the police on the school for various things, and I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. I'm actually a local pastor, and these kids mean a lot to me, and it means a lot for, for the children to have a voice when nobody else will. Alyssa Wright, WNY News, now. Alyssa, thank you. The father says next he will give the Board of Education 30 days to respond before filing further complaints at the state level against the school's administration. We'll, of course, continue to follow this story and work to provide updates as they develop.